Okay, so welcome back. This is the final episode. It's gonna be very epic. The finale of this epic tale. Yes. Busy hour on the telephone after you went to bed. <laughs> I got my chief to speak to the first lord and the secretary for war, and they're bringing Roy over a day sooner. Now, this wire clinches it. He'll be in London at five. Odd that the code word for a sous chef d'etat major general should be porker. <laughs> <laughs> kind of ironic. Uh, not that I think it'll do much good. If your friends were clever enough to find out the first arrangement, they're clever enough to discover the change. I would give my head to know where the leak is. We believe there were only five men in England who knew about Royer's visit, and you may be certain there were fewer in France, for they managed these things better there. That is the best we can do. And it's hard to see how there can be any miscarriage. But I don't mind admitting that I'm horribly nervous. This murder of Carolides will play the deuce in the chancelleries of Europe. These are uh, quite a lot of options. Can you drive a car? Why, yes. Well, you'll be my chauffeur today and wear Hudson's rig. How You're nice. about his size. You have a hand in this business and we're taking no risks. There are desperate men against us who will not respect the country retreat of an overworked official. So back to London, right? McGillivray, I've brought you the Portland Place murderer. Hmm, it would have been a welcome present to Boulevard. This, I presume, is Mr. Richard Hannay, who for some days greatly interested my department. Mr. Hannay will interest it again. He has much to tell you, but not today. For certain grave reasons, his tale must wait for four hours. Then, hmm. I can promise you, you will be entertained and possibly edified. Hmm. I want you to assure Mr. Hannay that he will suffer no further inconvenience. You can take up your life where you left off. Your flat, which probably you no longer wish to occupy, is waiting for you. And your man is still there. 
As you were never publicly accused, we considered that there was no need of a public exculpation. But on that, of course, you must please yourself. McGillivray, oh, nice. we may want your assistance later on. Alright, sir. Come and see me tomorrow, Hannay. I needn't tell you to keep deadly quiet. If I were you, I would go to bed, for you must have considerable arrears of sleep to overtake. You'd better lie low. For if one of your black stone friends saw you, there might be trouble. Of course. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there already will be enough trouble as it is anyway, so... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> By God, the murderer! Here, you, you fellows, hold him! That's Hannay, the man who did the Portland Place murder! What's going on here? Oh, the, this man is the Portland Place murderer! Oh. Damn it all! Make the fellow shut up! Uh, I advise you to leave me alone, constable. Uh, Scotland Yard knows all about me, and he'll uh, get a proper wigging if you interfere. You've got to come along with me, young man. I saw you strike that gentleman cruel hard. You began it too, for he wasn't doing nothing. I've seen you. You best go quietly, or I'll have to fix you up. What the uh, hell? Watch him! Watch him! Watch him! Come back here! <laughs> While there's police chase, sure, that's all right. Oh, or not. Okay, maybe it is. Yeah, it is. I must see Sir Walter. My business is desperately important. Sir Walter is engaged, sir, and I have orders to admit no one. Perhaps you will wait. See here. There's trouble about, and I'm in it. But Sir Walter knows, and I'm working for him. If anyone comes and asks if I'm here, tell him a lie. Like, he had one job to just stay low, not draw any attention. And what does he do? He hits a man in front of a police officer. This guy is fucking retarded. Kind of amazed he made it this far, though. This is the house of Sir Walter Bullivant, and I am under the strictest orders not to let anyone, no matter who, interrupt his office.
residence. How may I help you? Is his lordship at home? His lordship returned half an hour ago and has gone to bed. He's not very well tonight. Will you leave him a message, sir? I won't. That's, uh, interesting. Chapters remaining. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, I think I have fixed my audio or well, my microphone because I noticed in the other videos that my mic was a bit, I don't know, making noises when it wasn't supposed to. All right, my game is crashing once again, I think. Yes. So, thank you for watching this episode. And then next time we'll uh, finish it uh, at once. And then uh, you can finally move on to some real games. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, until the next time.